Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I did this video last year and I thought it'd be really fun to make um, the same video the year after and I hope to do this every year as long as I have time to do it. This video is going to be a what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. 2021. So for those of you who might be new to my channel, I have two kids, two boys, one just turned one in September and the other one is three and a half. He'll be four in April. So those are the kind of ages that I'm working with. So I'm just going to go through and show you all the things that I have got my kids. I think I'm pretty good on everything. I keep wanting to add more stuff because that's just my personality and if I could I would just give my kids the world but I know I have to kind of go easy on the presents. I know Anthony if he was here he would be like stop buying so much. So anyway I will start with the stocking stuffers that I have for the boys. Both of my boys are really into um, water wow. They're also really into the color wow stuff too. Um, I love these because you just use water and it comes with its own brush. It'll paint a picture. They just have like blank black and white images. I don't know if you can see that. These are black, black and white images, and then um, when you color it, it turns into color. And then once the water dries, it goes back to black and white, and you can do it over and over and over again. And usually it'll be like, find the images, or can you count things, or whatever. So I got a bunch of these. I got them like, oh, they'll be great stocking stuffers, but I'm seeing how big these are and I'm not sure if they're gonna fit in their stockings or not. So I'm gonna try to make these stocking stuffers and if they're not, then I'll just wrap them. But they had a Safari one. Um, I got several Blue's Clues ones because both the boys really like Blue's Clues. And then I also got a Paw Patrol one. So I got two for Porter and two for Grayson. So that um, that's what I got. They were on sale at Meyer. I think it was, like all Melissa and Doug was like buy one get one. So that's why I got so, so many. And like I said, you can just keep using them and they're really great for on the go. You can take them in the car um, if your kids are responsible enough to not lose the brushes. But yeah, we have several of these and the boys love using them. Porter, sometimes just like sucking the water out of the brush. So they're multi-use. For Grayson specifically, I got him, they have this in like the $5 section at Meyer. Um, it's just like a sucker holder and it's Rudolph. He's really into Rudolph. He loves singing the song. And so it's a holder. So you basically take, it comes with three suckers. You take the sucker, you put it in, and then that way it closes around it. So he can like take it everywhere and not get all the stickiness everywhere. He loves suckers. And I'm fine with him eating them, except he just like rolls it everywhere and then everything gets sticky. So I'm curious to see like how this will work. Like you just push it up and it opens and then there's the sucker. So I got this. I didn't get one for Porter just because I don't feel like he'd understand it and he doesn't need suckers. So I just got this one for Grayson. Hopefully Porter isn't too jealous. Oh, I forgot. I have to plug it in. Okay, Anthony just reminded me that I have my ring light. I had it off to the side and I totally forgot to turn it on. So now I look brighter. <laughs> Anthony got me this ring light just as a gift uh, a couple months ago and I usually only use it for sit down videos which I don't do very often so I thought I would get some use out of it for this video so I'm brighter now. Anyway back to the stocking stuffers. Another um, stocking stuffer I got for Grayson, this is three dollars. <laughs> Um, and it's a dot to dot book. Grayson loves connecting numbers and letters and creating pictures. He has like some preschool workbooks where he does that and so I thought this was really cute. He'd love it so I'm just gonna put it in his stocking. It's my first dot to dot so I thought he would really like that. For Porter's stocking, these are this is really for Porter and Grayson but I figured I'd put it in Porter's stocking so he had something. I got them band-aids. Both boys are really into band-aids right now. More so Grayson, he starts it and then whenever Porter sees Grayson have a band-aid on, he insists that he has a band-aid on too. Super cute. So I went on Amazon and I found these um, Sesame Street ones. Oh, it's kind of bright. I found these Sesame Street ones. Um, they've got all the characters and the boys love Sesame Street. Porter's really into Elmo. 
And so I think, I don't know that he'll understand what it, they are, but they we would get a lot of use out of them. It's a hundred of them in here, so I think we'll that will last us hopefully for a while. I guess we'll see. Also in Porter stocking, but for the both the boys, I got them um, bath color changer things. They're called bath drops. Basically, they're little tablets. You put them in the bathtub and it changes the color of the water. We had these a while ago, and then we went through them all, and then I just never got any new ones. So I thought that would be really fun for bath time. So I'm putting this in Porter's stocking. In both the boys' stockings, I got them new toothbrushes. I always got toothbrushes in my stocking as a kid. Heck, my mom still gets Anthony and I and all my siblings, adult siblings. Um, toothbrushes that she puts in our stocking. So I got these, they're bamboo toothbrushes. So I think they're like a little more eco-friendly. There's six of them in here. So I was just gonna like split them up and do three in grays and three in porters. So that's what I got them for that. Also in both the boys' stockings, I got them poppets. We've never had poppets before, but I've heard really good things about them. Um, I guess they're really fun to have in the car and just to keep kids entertained. So I figured both the boys would really like these. I got three, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna split them up. I might just like do two and then just introduce the other one like later where they don't realize it or something. Cause I just realized it came in a pack of three, but. Anyway, I thought I would try these. They were cheap. I just got them off Amazon. I think they were on sale one day, so I just got these three packs. So um, I think they'll like these. And they come in shapes, which Gray loves shapes. So anyway, that's it. So that's all of the stocking stuffers that I got for the boys. I think I'm pretty done for that. We'll see if the water wows will fit in their stockings. Um, I'll definitely let you know. So going on to presents, I will do all of Porter's presents first and my one-year-old, and then I will do all of Grayson, my three-year-old's presents after his. So first gift I got for Porter, we found this, I think it was at Meyer. It's a chopping pot um, and it's really cute. It has a little timer on, it's got buttons you can press, it lights up, it makes sound, and it like counts down and then it like the water moves and then it has little um, vegetables that you can like chop in half and it's got a little bowl and a knife and a spoon. So um, I thought Porter would like this. It's his age group and I'm sure Grayson will like it too. <laughs> um, we don't have anything like this, which is surprising because I feel like we have every toy ever. <laughs> so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I want to try and get it. So that's what we we're going to do. I'll let you know if he likes it or not. It says 12 plus months and he's 15 he's about to be he'll be 15 months tomorrow so um, we'll see if he likes it the next toy i got for porter is this touch and teach sea turtle um it's kind of like a piano but it also has different pages it goes through all the letters and has different objects and animals and when you turn it on like it goes through each one i think you can touch them and it'll like tell you what you're touching and stuff. Um, it's for 12 to 36 months, so it's in his age group. It has different modes. It's got songs, ABCs, and then search and find. So I found this, I think, at Meyer too. And I love VTech toys. I think they're really good for learning, which I'm always into with my kids. So I thought I would give this one a go. So again, I'll let you know what he thinks of it. I can see Grayson wanting to play with this toy as well. Okay, the next gift I got for Porter, it wasn't even my idea. I think it was my mom's idea to get Porter something like this. And when she said, I was like, I have to have it. So I got Porter a for real cat. I think these are for ages like way older than what he is. But if you watch my videos, if you know Porter, he is so into cats. He loves Felix, he loves my sister's cat, Lincoln. He loves pictures of cats. Um, we read books and if it has a cat, he always has to point out, he goes, kitty. He says the word kitty all the time. And so I thought it would be so fun to have a for real cat, one that won't run away from him. Um, so if you're not familiar with for real animals, these were really popular when I was a kid. And basically they just like mimic 
a real animal and so I think they purr and they meow and they walk around and so I'm hoping he really likes this we'll see I got it on Amazon they were actually really hard to find like I don't think they make them that much anymore um, so we'll see what he thinks it's got a bell like you can hear it jingle just like Felix's and so we'll see if he likes it or not I just thought this was so cute I would have gotten like a black one to look like Felix but I think this was like the only color that they had or this is the cheapest color that they had I'm not sure but hopefully he likes this because I think it's really funny <laughs> also with this cat I was just reading the instructions so I guess if you touch it or you tap it or if you clap your hands it will make movements and make sounds so I guess it'll like walk around or it'll also get up on like its hind legs and like paw and meow so I don't know we'll see how it is and if he likes it but I think it's really cute <laughs> so this next toy is the toy that I'm most excited to give Porter and that I'm most proud of and it's really gonna crush me if he's not into it as much as I think he will be like I've done that with Grayson before I've gotten him toys where I'm like oh this is such a great gift like he's gonna love it like I got him a mailbox last year for Christmas. It was a Blue's Clues mailbox and had letters. You could put them in and out. He loves the mailman. He loves Blue's Clues. I was like, this is a perfect gift. And I got it for him and he really could care less about it. <laughs> so sometimes I'm on point with my gifts and sometimes I'm not. But so if you've watched my videos and if you know Porter, he absolutely loves playing with our Keurig machine. He loves taking the pods, putting them in and out. He wants to close it. He wants to make the coffee. He thinks it's so much fun. Um, but obviously it's dangerous because the Keurig machine is hot. The grounds go everywhere. He's on the counter. It's just not good. So I was like, what if there's a Keurig toy for kids to play with? And what do you know? There is. <laughs> um, so there's actually a couple of them, but I got the Melissa and Doug brand just because I like that brand and that company. Um, but here it is. It's a wooden play set. It's a Keurig machine. They have light, medium, and dark coffee. They've got sugar. They've got a little coffee cup. Um, you can put them in and out. They've got milk. They've got a menu. You can put like what coffee you want on it. It's made for kids three and up. <laughs> but um, I think Porter, I'm hoping Porter will really like this. I think Gray will play with it too. They always see mommy and daddy drinking coffee. Um, so I think it'll be fun for them to play with. And I was just so pumped to find this. Uh, I found it on Amazon. I looked everywhere in the stores for one. I looked in Kohl's, I looked in Target, I looked at Walmart, like I could not find it. So I had to go to Amazon, but I'm really hoping he appreciates this and enjoys it. Um, we'll see, but anyway, I, I was so excited when I thought of this and when I found it. So the next thing I got for Porter is these cute little bath toys. I think it comes with three of them or maybe one, I'm really not sure. Um, but these are bath toys, they're turtles, and uh, they float, and basically they have a wind-up spinner, you can wind it up and let it go, and then it floats and it swims around on the water, and you can like watch it and chase after it, and really cute. So I'm always looking for new bath toys that we already have. We already have a lot of bath toys. We have like all the foam letters, and we have some like plastic animals and stuff, but I thought this would just be another fun toy. We have a um, baby shark toy. It's super annoying because it just plays Baby Shark over and over and over again and never stops. But it floats on the water and it has a fin so it like swims around and Porter loves, loves it. And so when I found these and they don't make noise but they do the exact same thing, I was like, I gotta have it. So I found these on Amazon. I think they were pretty cheap. So hopefully he likes it. I'm sure Gray will like it too. All of, all of Porter's toys, Grayson will like them. Um, so we'll see how these go but I thought this was really cute and um, I'm excited to try it out. The last thing I have for Porter, I'm ac it's actually two things, but I'm just gonna um, wrap them together. It's books, so I got him, and Grayson, <laughs> but I got him a Little Blue Truck Christmas book, and then Little Blue Truck Leads the Way. We have Little Blue Truck, the original, and then we have the Halloween version, we have the Springtime, the Good Night version, um, I think that's all of them. So we don't have these two. The Christmas one I thought was so cute because in the last page the lights twinkle on the Christmas tree. I thought they would really enjoy that. And then this little blue truck leads away. It was like four dollars on Amazon so I couldn't really pass it up. I guess Grayson said that they have this book at preschool and he reads it. So Porter's kind of into books. 
Um, he really likes books that lift the flap, but I just thought it would be fun to get the boys more books. Grayson did ask for books from Santa. Um, I'm mostly giving these supporters just to try to keep them even. <laughs> Not that they are really gonna notice or care, but I wanna start that now, just keeping them even. You know, Grayson gets this many, Porter gets this many, so that's why I'm giving these to Porter. But like I said, Grayson's gifts are Porter's gifts and Porter's gifts are Grayson's gifts. They're so close in age that they'll like to play with both of each other's gifts. So that's all that I have for Porter. So now I am moving on to my three-year-old Grayson and what I've gotten him for Christmas. The first gift that I got for Grayson, let me know if you guys have memories of playing this game growing up. This is um, Elephant. It's a game that you can play and basically I'll show you on the back. Basically, it's just the elephants here and then um, butterflies shoot out of it, out of its trunk, and then it gives you little nuts and then you're supposed to catch the butterflies as they float back down to the ground. I thought that this was super fun. I, rem I have memories of playing this as a kid and it being so fun and I think it's for ages three and up. Yeah, three and up. So um, Gray will love this and I think even Porter could get into it too. Not that he has the dexterity to like catch them, but I think he would just like to watch it and to pick up the butterflies as they land on the ground too. So this is definitely something that both the boys can do, but um, I think Grayson's just starting to get into the, that age of playing with like games and like board games and stuff so I wanted to get this it was on sale on Amazon like a month ago so I couldn't pass up at getting it um, hopefully they enjoy it I think it'll be really fun and I think it makes music too yeah he plays music while he does the butterflies and so both the boys I think this is gonna be hit I think they're really gonna like this I've been wrong in the past so I'll let you guys know but I'm really excited for them to play with this on Amazon on Black Friday this was on one of its like prime day deals or prime member deals. These are Picasso tiles. Um, so I don't really know the difference between Picasso tiles and, oh, there's another, Magna tiles. I, don't, I think they're the same thing, just like different companies. I don't know. I've mostly heard about Magna tiles, so hopefully Picasso tiles are just as good and nice. Um, we've never had anything like this. Like we have building blocks, like Lego huge Duplo blocks or whatever. Um, and Anthony's parents have, they have either Magna tiles or Picasso tiles, I really don't know which brand they have, but Gray loves playing with them. Anthony's mom will get out just like a, a cookie tray and it's magnetic so then Gray can build stuff on it. So Gray's starting to get more and more into like building things and so I thought this would be really fun. It's got a hundred pieces, so it's huge, it's got tons. And I know like both, I'm sure both brands have like more sets that you can get to build more stuff. So if a hundred isn't enough, which I think it'll be plenty, but if it's not enough, we can always get more. I don't think that Porter will be so much into this. Porter is just now getting into the Duplo blocks and building and stuff like that. Um, but I think the Magna tiles might be a little advanced for him, but I think Grayson will really enjoy it. Um, if not now, maybe as he gets older, he'll get more and more into it. They do say it's educational. Um, Obviously you're working with like 3D images building things. So I just thought this was a great idea. I've had this on my mind to get Grayson for a while, but I've been waiting until he's been old enough to really like understand and play with it. It does say three plus years on it. So he's the right age. So we'll see how, we'll see what he thinks about it for Christmas. We'll see if he's into it or not. The next way I have for Grayson, it's kind of hard to see because I need to set it up. This actually might be one toy that I just set up and put out and that he doesn't unwrap because if he just unwraps it like this he's not going to understand what it is but they had a deal going on and this was even before black friday it was just a deal and it's basically a play-doh table and um i think these are like the legs and it stands up or i'm not exactly sure i have to look at the picture i will insert the picture here of what it looks like so you guys can visualize it um, but it comes with tons of like cutouts so you can make indents onto the play-doh of different um um, objects it's got all sorts of animals on here and this one has all sorts of food and then it even comes with a bunch of mini play-dohs I might go and get more play-doh I'm not sure um, Grayson's just starting to get into play-doh he plays with it every time he goes to preschool and loves it and we've just had like little like tiny tiny ones that he plays with here and there so I thought it was really cool to get like a table where everything could just be like centralized and kept um, I think this also comes with different like items that you 
different items that he can play with too, like little indents and scissors and cutouts and all sorts of stuff. So I think this might be one that I just leave out for them to see because like I said, he's not gonna understand when he opens this like what it is. But I was really excited about this because I knew I wanted to get him like some kind of Play-Doh but I love that it can just be kept like all in one spot. <laughs> I saw this gift at Meijer and I wasn't quite sure if Grayson was gonna like it or not, but it's a Melissa and Doug toy and they were doing buy one, get one. So I got it because of the sale um, and I'm not sure if Grayson's old enough to get it or if maybe it'll, he'll get it like as he grows, but this is just basically, what's it called? A basic skills board. So it's a teddy bear and then it has a bunch of different things that the kids can do. It's got a button, so you can open and close a button, a zipper, a belt, a buckle, a string. And so basically you just like work on basic skills and you can like practice using it. It says three and up. I think it's a little advanced for Grayson. We will see if he gets it. Definitely way too advanced for a porter. Um, but I've seen things like this with basic skills. They even have like, um, houses or barns and they have a bunch of locks and stuff and different ways to open so I've seen those too. Um, this one was a little bit cheaper so that's why I went with this. So we'll see if he likes it or not. Yeah, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. I think it might be a little advanced for Grayson but I think eventually like he'll get it and it's always good to work on these things. Like he has a buckle like this on his um, on his school backpack and he can buckle it no problem but he has trouble opening it because you know you gotta push like the two sides at the same time so i guess it would be good for him to like work on that the shoe string or the tie i don't think he'll get that for a while i mean how long does it take kids to learn how to tie their shoes you know um, the zipper that will be good to know because again he does not know how to zip his uh, coats up and down um, and then the button and then the belt and things. So it's good for him to learn. It's definitely like an educational thing because eventually he needs to do all this stuff and he is very independent. So this will help his independence. So we'll see, we'll see what he thinks about this. So the other piece that I got with that buy one, get one of Melissa and Doug toys was this magnetic pretend play and it's Paw Patrol theme. So basically like you have the characters and then you can like change what they're wearing. Like I had this growing up but they were like dolls and you could like change their their shoes and their pants and their shirt or wear a dress or whatever. So this is Paw Patrol themed, so I thought you'd be really into it. It's 64 pieces, so I don't even know honestly what all comes in this. It says three and up. It might be a little advanced for Grayson to understand what it is, but uh, we will see. It says it comes with four play figures, four stands that can stand up, 48 wooden magnets, eight double-sided mission cards, and a take-along storage case with lid. So we'll see. Um, my mom and sisters were like, oh, get it, you gotta get it. Like, he, we loved these type of toys growing up. He'll love them too. So we will see if he's into it or not. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, both those toys are kind of like a little advanced, but I think eventually he would like them, so I'll let you know. He loves Paw Patrol. So I thought it was cute that they had a toy that I grew up with, but made it a little more modern with picking Paw Patrol. So I will let you know what he thinks. The last toy I got for Grayson is another kind of game, and it's another game that I and probably you all grew up with too, and it's Hungry Hungry Hippos. Uh, I think it says it's three and up. Oh, it's four and up. Interesting, um, but I think Grayson will get it because honestly you just push the head and try to eat up all the marbles So I don't know how that's hard to get so I think it'd be really fun It's two to four players so Anthony and I could play with him. I think even Porter could understand it I'm just gonna have to watch Porter with this because obviously like the balls that they eat are tiny and Probably a choking hazard. Maybe that's why they put the four plus on it So obviously I have to watch Porter with that, but I think Grayson will really like it I love playing this game. I mean what kid hasn't played with hungry hungry hippos in their lifetime So I think Grayson will like this. I think it's really fun and it's easy All you do is move push the lever and the head moves like it's an easy game to get. So I think he'll like it a lot. So that's all of the toys that I got for my kids for Christmas. I think it comes out to six toys each and then all the stocking stuffers. I didn't really have a number in mind on how many I wanted to get my kids, probably somewhere around five, because I didn't want to like go crazy. If you've seen our playroom, it's always a mess. We have a ton of toys. I have like half of our toys away in storage because I rotate toys. So it's not like we don't have enough toys, but I did want to like, have them open, you know, a few gifts and, you know, there's only two of them, so it only lasts so long. So 
Um, I'm excited with what I got. There were things that I were looking for that I just didn't find, so maybe next Christmas I'll include those things, but I'm happy with how they are. Now I just need to go and wrap them. I think maybe if I do like a couple toys a night. I have 15 days till Christmas, and we're gonna do the boys' Christmas here on Christmas Eve, so technically I have 14 days till Christmas, so two weeks. But I think I'll get it done, maybe if I do one toy a night, or if I get Anthony to help me wrap. Um, I think I think I'll get it done, but anyway, that is what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. Also, really quick, I'll show you what I'm getting Anthony for Christmas. Um, we are looking to buy a house soon, and so we kind of set a pretty low price limit, so my gifts aren't very exciting this year. Um, but I'll show you what I got him. I'm gonna try to stay quiet, because he's upstairs working, so I don't want him to hear <laughs> what I got him. So if I get a little quiet in this video, that's why. So let me show you. Okay, so the first gift that I got for Anthony are sunglasses. So um, for our anniversary, I just got him a pair and they had his name on it and everything and I was super excited about it. And then they ended up breaking like a month or two later. It did not last long. So I got him another pair, a different pair. These ones I got off of Amazon. I used to swear to only get Meyer sunglasses because they're such a good deal and they're usually pretty nice, but lately I have not been liking my sunglasses from Meyer. Um, I don't know, I don't know if the quality went down or what. So I tried one on Amazon for myself and I really liked it. And so I thought I would look on Amazon for sunglasses. Anthony likes like the aviator type. So I got these for him and they come in a case and all nice. Um, if you haven't been following me, we are going to Jamaica uh, like the day after Christmas. So he will be able to use these right away. Hopefully he likes them. We'll see. Um, but anyway, that's the one, one of the things I got for him. The next thing I got for Anthony, it's not super exciting, but I got him new shorts. So Anthony's been working out a lot ever since like the beginning of November. He's been working out like six times a week and he doesn't have very many sweat shorts to work out in. And so I thought I got him a, some new pairs to use because um, a lot of his are old or have paint on them, so I thought I'd get him some new ones, so hopefully he likes these. I've never heard of these brand before. They were just, had a lot of good reviews on Amazon, so hopefully he likes these. Hopefully they're not too thin or anything, but anyway, I got these for him. Not very exciting, but needed. Anthony is a guy, and so when it comes to his gifts, he likes practical over anything, so these are very practical. So the last thing I got for Anthony was a game. Um, every Christmas I try to get us a new board game or some kind of game for us to play that's good for two players because a lot of times we just do date night in because we have kids and no babysitter and so we'll just like get out a board game and play. Um, we don't have very many games because I only get them games like once a year for Christmas so I'm trying to build up our stock or repertoire whatever you want to call it. I was having a hard time. We were at Meyer. I think it was Meyer, and they had like a lot of their games on sale, but a lot of it was like, oh, we have that, or I didn't like it. And it's hard to find like a good game that you can play like for two players and up. A lot of times, if it's a game, it's like four or five players or more. So I found this game. I've never heard of it. I, I don't know if it's good or not, which is probably not smart to get, but it's like a word game, and Anthony's really, really good at word games, and so. Um, I think he'll really like it. I am not good at word games, so he always kills me, but maybe this would be fun. So it's called uh, Fishing for Words. And uh, so basically you roll letter dice and then build the highest scoring word. So I think Anthony would really like it. It says the game length is 10 to 20 minutes, so it's a really quick game, I guess. So we'll see if he likes it. I just like to try new games and we have um, like we have pandemic we have categories we have like the couples mystery game gosh I can't think of the name of it that's really fun but hard um, we have ticket to ride so just trying to get something different so um, 
anyway, this is the last thing I, I have for him. So not very exciting, but again, we did set a pretty low limit for ourselves because we just didn't want to spend too much, thinking that we're gonna spend a lot of money soon on a house if we find a house soon. So anyway, that's what I'm getting for Anthony. So that closes it all out. I'm getting a lot of other gifts for other people, but I don't think you guys are very interested in it. Um, my siblings and I do a sibling exchange, so I have gifts for my uh, brother and sister-in-law, and I got a gift for my parents and with my siblings and Anthony and I are still trying to figure out what we're getting his parents so if you have any ideas on what to get parents for Christmas leave them down below because we're struggling last year we got them a Amazon Alexa and they love it so we were trying to find something like that like technology-esque but we're running into a roadblock so hopefully we figure that out soon but Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I love showing off like what I've found and like how I've been thinking about the boys. So hopefully it's a great Christmas. I will definitely vlog Christmas morning and then I think I'll wait a couple weeks and then I'll do an update video on what presents the boys like and what wasn't so much of a hit and how that all went. But I hope this helped you or if you are struggling with uh, getting kids um, anything for Christmas hopefully this helped you at least for a three and a one-year-old I mean a two-year-old would probably fit in there too because they're right in between my two ages so I hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe you're not gonna want to miss any of my Christmas videos coming up because I'm about to flood YouTube with all of our Christmas videos so you don't want to miss that I hope you guys are having a great Christmas season don't go too crazy with stressing out about gifts um, just try to think of the person and what they would most like. Gift cards and money are always a good idea too. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!